there. Well, today, myself and Graham are standing outside the main gates to the North Wales Hospital here in Denby. Now, sometimes when we're making these films, you ask yourself, am I mad? Well, we've just had a discussion <laughs> and we've agreed. <laughs> we can we confirm are, yeah. it, we yeah. are mad. The weather is atrocious, the wind and rain for filming, but we're going to carry on anyway. So uh, let's take a look around. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, we're just going to take a look at the, the main entrance, or the front of the main building. There. Uh, you've got a bit of a sad story about this, haven't you, Graham? Yes, I have, Paul. Um, and you're talking now, you're going back about 40 years, uh, when I was a kid of about eight or nine. Um, we used to live in a place called Love Lane Garage, which is uh, just up the road from the hospital and we used to run a taxi service and in them days there were no other taxis like it is today we were the only one we used to get all the jobs from the hospital and me being a kid of about eight or nine i used to jump in the taxi for a little ride out and on this particular occasion uh, it was my mother that was driving the taxi and we arrived at the hospital and we pulled up to the main entrance there and my mother got out and went in up the steps to the reception to see you know what the fare was and there was no one else about and I was sitting there in the car and uh, a patient came out from the, the main door and if I shut my eyes I can see him still to this day and I'm saying I'm talking 40 years ago now and he stood on the top of the steps and he had a dressing gown on he, had, he was in his pajamas and he had to wear in a pair of slippers and he looked down at me and he just looked around for a few seconds and then I think he attempted to walk down the steps, but he fell, and he fell face down. And as soon as he hit the steps, he was just completely motionless. And of course, me being a little kid, you know, I've never seen anything like that before in my life. I was just frozen to the to my seat type of thing. And it passed, it was about 10 seconds, something like that. And someone came out the main uh, door and found him. And within, you know, a minute or two, there was a big crowd around him. And then my mother came out with the fair, jumped in the car, and off we went. And I found out uh, about a day or two later that um, when the patient actually hit the steps, he died. Uh, he died instantly. And as I say, uh, to this day, I can still see him now. So, on a brighter note, Paul, let's go and see where he used to pinch the apples from the orchard. There. Okay, then we've come to the other side of the hospital here, Graham. These buildings here, then? Well, just in this little corner of the field here yeah. used to be the orchard um, ah, right. as kids. Uh, this is where we used to come and get a few apples. We used to just hop over the, the wall there, yeah. grab a few apples, and we sometimes we used to get chased off the gardener, but not often. And also, we used to cook them. Uh, we did do things by halves in them days, and I'll show you what we used to do and where we used to cook the apples. Uh, cook our apples as you can see it's just a short distance yeah. from the actual orchard and just up there that's where we used to cook them let's go and take a uh, closer look hope you know. right Paul this is where we used to cook our apples and if you just take a look there you'll see them pipes that are part of the North Hills hospital heating system and you can see a bit of insulation there but just a bit further down yeah. there was an exposed part of the pipe and I tell you what it was absolutely boiling really hot and what we used to do is get our apples, cut them in half, put them on the pipe, and within seconds they'd be sizzling and we'd have a cooked apple. We were bloody horrible, man, but <laughs> we used to have cooked apples. And that's what we used to do. So, uh, what's this here then, Graham? Well, this was the second opening, uh, right. a second way into the hospital, really. Um, you can see the security fencing here, that yeah. wasn't there when uh, the hospital was open. Uh, you can just 
basically walk or if you have a car, just drive straight down. Uh, you can see you've got the nurses home on the left yeah, there. And this is the way we used to come when we were kids uh, to get to the pavilion at the back of the hospital there. There was a pavilion and a, a rugby field. And, uh, this is where we used to come. We never used to go all the way around being kids. We were lazy. So just walk straight through. Yeah. And I'll show you a bit later on, Paul, where we used to come out. Okay. Well, there's a nice shot of the other side of the nurse's home here. And if I can just zoom in, that's where we were by the second entrance. And where Paul's just shown you up there, that's where we used to come down on our bikes. And we used to just make our way down there towards the pavilion. So there's the pavilion. There's the rugby field. And then to the left, the cricket pitch, just behind the trees there. We're at the back of the hospital here now. Uh, there's a bit of a gap over there, Graham, so what would that have been? Yeah, well, the gap you can see just in front of the chapel used to be Bringolai. It was a secure ward and it was also a Grade 2 listed building, and you can see it disappeared. Okay, then, so we've come to the end of the video now, so I uh, hope you've enjoyed it and thanks to Graham for his time. And what a day it's been yeah. as well. It's been rough and ready, Very but rough. Uh, enjoyable all the same, isn't it? Very enjoyable, yeah. Hope you enjoyed yeah. it too. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again.